one word, it's insane. But like on the good side, it's it's unbelievable. Like from the first edition, I'm very lucky that I've been here on the first edition. You can see it started already like on 100%. So I thought it couldn't get any better. But every year, I don't know how they get the energy, but it gets crazier and crazier. I'm excited what's gonna happen this year or even next year, I don't know. It's, it's really cool. I think it doesn't really matter how old you are, but I think it, it's really important that you know what you want to do. And like, I think starting as a resident DJ is always good because if I would imagine like starting now and having like a hit record, overnight hit or whatever, and then playing such a crowd like this, I would like pee my pants probably. <laughs> it's, I think I'm still getting nervous sometimes like on before shows like this. But just imagine you wouldn't start like from very small clubs slowly to this. That must be unbelievable. So I, I'm very, very happy that I started in like 100 capacity clubs and then slowly to bigger crowds. Then because then you are a little bit more in control of what you do. Uh, and also uh, be, uh, being a resident, you get bad nights. You get nights with no people. And that's amazing to learn. That's really amazing to learn, to reflect, to realize what could you do better, to spend some more, to do your homework actually. Yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, I have a few friends. They are also producers, they are also known in the industry. Then I think I'll show it to my team and then straight to the label because we are doing everything with the label for years already. So if I get feedback from them, I know that it's like true feedback. So that's probably the first. But um, this feedback uh, is uh, sometimes uh, they require or maybe they suggest changes. Do you, do you really take that into consideration? I mean, do you change the tracks if they, if they t give you a better idea? I do, yeah, because in the first, I remember when they did it the first time, I was like, oh, this is not really cool. Because when I said save the track, or when I pushed the button, like save it, render, I was like, it's done. But they are so professional, they are in the industry for many more years than I am, and they know exactly what they do, and they know exactly what the people want. So whenever I changed something because they said it, it was amazing. So after it, I was even more happy with the result. So it's actually a big deal until you do it the, for the first time. And maybe the ego is the only thing that stands in the way. Because once you press save, you're, you're sure that you've done a perfect creation. And it's hard, to, it's hard to admit that maybe it's not perfect. Yeah, but I think I don't have that. Because whenever I say I save it, I only save it because I have the feeling I have to save it. <laughs> if I could, I would change even the tracks what I released in the past. So there's that, that's absolutely not an ego problem. I think I don't have it. It's more like, yeah, at one point, if you spend so many weeks on a project, you just want to finish it. That's no, it. I'm not. I wasn't talking about your ego because you are you accept changes. No, no, but I, 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 but I understand. It. Yeah, because uh, once you done, you, once you're finished, you're sure and. You, you expect everybody to say, wow, it's great. And when somebody tells you, well, it's good, but then many people take that as a personal defeat and that's bad. They, but, should, they should learn from that. But I actually love that because like the true friends or the true partners in the industry, they would always tell you the truth. It, it doesn't help me if people always say, oh, that's amazing. I used to have that a lot, but when I know or when I found out, okay, those, those people will always say that, even if I show them like a bad track or a bad idea, that I don't show it to them anymore because that doesn't help me. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think it was, yeah, I think it doesn't really matter where you're from because I, I get that question a lot because like, especially young kids from, let's say a country like this, for example, they would say like, yeah, this is not really a big country for EDM or for this kind of music. I mean, we live in 2019, come on. We, we do studio sessions uh, on the internet together with, like somebody can be in LA and I can be in that mall. It doesn't matter anymore, so send out your music and if it's a really good song, nobody will say, oh, you're from Romania, this, this is not gonna work. Of course, people love to support those people, but yeah, 
I can imagine that the frustration is pretty high for those kids, but I think it's not about the country. It's more about the amount of demos the um, the labels get. That that's crazy. So, of course, when they get like 1,000 demos per day, and you are only one of them, it's it's really hard to to that they listen to it. I think that's the only problem, not the country. I would always say that, yeah. I, I would always say like, if the track is good and if you work hard, they will listen to it. Yeah, um, it's really hard to explain that feeling, but I remember some studio sessions. I have really, let's say a month has 30 days. I would say two or three days are amazing in the studio, the rest, bullshit. So, um, I can really feel, okay, something's happening. And whenever I finished or I had a good idea, like let's say Boneless, Booty Bounce, uh, Drop That Low, whatever, like all the songs are released, the night before when I started it, I was so excited that I couldn't even sleep. So when I came back in the morning to the studio, I was like, oh my God, I want to listen to it again. And when you still like it and on the next morning, then it's a good song. That, I mean, just for myself, I don't know how the other guys are doing it, but for myself, this is, the, this is the key. If I don't like it, because sometimes in the morning you go down to the studio and you're like, oh my God, what did I do the last 10 hours yesterday? Then you just delete it, start a new project. That can be very frustrating, but that's what helps me a lot to find out what's good and what's not good. No, it's good because I have an untold story. It's not really a secret, but this is the first time I brought my mom to a show. She's here tonight. And this is, this is probably an untold story because I never talked about it. But I wanted to show her the Romanian crowd and I wanted to make sure that when she comes that it's a good show. So I choose Untold this year. So she's here and that's the first time. That's my untold story. <laughs>